I've got this little old uh, amplifier here. Got it laid down just so I can show it to you. I just threw it up here on my bed. Too many other amps and uh, cables and things sitting on the floor here. Um, picked it up a few years ago at a garage sale. And the uh, lady who was selling it, my wife found it, asked me if I'd be interested. Uh, was calling it an old speaker. And I got it for really inexpensively. Um, it's got four rubber feet, which I think are the screws in them that keep the chassis on. Uh, almost looks like mohair, this cloth. And unfortunately, my six-year-old was pushing on it a couple weeks ago, which he knows he's not supposed to do. Um, not sure what he poked in there, but yeah, I might have to pull that apart and try to fix it or see if uh, applying a little steam to the back. Sometimes that works. I know that works on canvas, um, art, art canvases. It's got this um, leather handle here, which is in really beautiful condition. Um, if I push down and it comes out a little, it'll come up a little further. Uh, pull in here. It looks hand stitched based on the uh, diagonal stitching there. There are a couple machines that can do that, but uh, I actually do work leather. I make uh, custom knives and sheaths and was ta taught um, in a very old school manner, especially when it comes to leather work. So I do all hand stitching, and this is very much how I would stitch it. Probably would have finished that a little better, but. Uh, I've just put some olive oil on it once. It's actually a better oil con uh, leather conditioner than a lot of people uh, might realize. I try to avoid neat's foot oil because it's made out of the marrow from cow shin bones. Uh, it stays liquid at lower temperatures than a lot of other fats because cows will often stand in the cold and that way their um, bony little legs don't freeze. But in any... Uh, Anyway, uh, the reason I don't use Neat's Foot Oil is because uh, dogs are very attracted to it. I have a dog, and uh, I've had a couple baseball gloves chewed to pieces. I'm sure other people have had the same. Often it's used for saddles, um, and I'm guessing that's where saddles are kept further away from animals that can uh, chew them up. Those are pretty expensive little bits of kit. I'm going to show you the back here. So here's the chassis. There's no markings uh, to indicate who made it or when. I haven't pulled the chassis out. I haven't needed to. I haven't wanted to. Just a little dusty in there. I tried to wipe some of that out with my fingers, but it uh, hasn't seemed to affect it, anything. I do know that it's hard to see here. This is a 5Y3 uh, rectifier. Uh, Sylvania 6V6 output um, power tube there, and can't see what that one is. It's actually the first time I'm getting my camera down in here. Hard to tell. Um, looks like a preamp tube. It's got that bottle cap there. Or Sorry if I got the name wrong. This, this stacked capacitor here. Output transformer. Input power transformer. That. There is a code on there. This is going to be upside down here. but oh man, Let's see if I can get some light on it. Looks like it says Iranco or Ranco, and there's a, a stamp mark on it. And then it says 0954. Uh, so I don't know if this is 1954. Uh, I've tried looking at some of the other codes on here. Um, if anybody knows what year this is and who or who made it, feel free to shoot me a link or make a comment or anything like that. Um, looks like a little old all nickel speaker. I don't know who made it. it. Seems to be about eight inches across, just a little shorter than the span of my hand. Might even be smaller. I, I haven't stuck a ruler in there. These are the only markings on the inside. And this is pretty much like it was when I got it. A little duster spider web up there. 18 or 81. Somebody scribbled on it with crayons. This is solid wood paneling. Looks like pine. Uh, could be something else. You can see how the um, grill cloth has been cut to fit, as well as the whatever this is that coats it, if it's Tolex or something else. There's a small bit of piping here that's trying to escape where this has come loose. I haven't messed with this. Some piping here, 
corners are just a little dinged up, but otherwise it's in really good condition. Um, two inputs, I don't know if one's a high or a low. I haven't pulled it apart to see if there's any kind of resistor on there or any caps or anything. Uh, and I think it sounds really nice. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, had a couple guys look at it. One guy said he thought it was a harmonica amp. Someone else thought it was a PA and somebody else thought it was a guitar amp. Um, I have used it as a guitar amp. So actually it's plugged in. I'm going to turn it on, which is down here. And I usually just leave it right there and keep the volume down for a little bit, let it warm up. Um, I'll make sure I can get my guitar plugged in here. I'm going to play through uh, just a couple chords. I broke my neck not too long ago uh, during a move. I already had uh, some spinal problems and I fell off of a ladder. So this is sitting here on my bed. Uh, and dislocated my shoulder, broke my elbow, broke my neck. I had been awake for a couple days in a row <laughs> trying to uh, paint and patch the walls in this house. And uh, yeah, since injuring my uh, shoulders, my elbow, and my neck, I've had a lot of problems with um, f being able to feel my fingertips. Um, which, as you can imagine, is problematic. I'll turn that light off so you can see the wonderful glow of the bottles here. Um, since I tend to play finger style, it's uh, been challenging. Um, I've had to do a lot of rehabilitation, physical uh, therapy, um, trying to get back into guitar. I've been playing for over 30 years. used to play four to six hours a day. felt much more competent than I do now. Um, I just have a much harder time with uh, some of the... Uh, coordination with my fingers. I just don't always do what I want them to do or sometimes I just can't even feel them. If I'm trying to pick something up or touch it, my hands won't actually squeeze hard enough to grab it. So, please forgive any um, uh, clumsiness uh, in my playing here. I'll try and set this down so I can get two hands on here. 